It's a chain. What? I couldn't get the camera to stop. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, what's this? Wet feet? Who's got wet feet? <laughs> He's walking by, his name is Ross. So Ross sits down and uh, he's left out here probably one hour. And we were still there four hours later because Ross is a lovely, lovely old man. Well, not a woman, 74. All right, now you say it. <laughs> <laughs> 74. And um, he used to be a bank auditor, you, you know, back in there. That's what he did as soon as that school kind of thing was decided for him. Single man. Been all over the world auditing bank books and all kinds of things, but um, humble man. The difference between yesterday and today was just so it was an exchange of information. Like a mathematician. Yes, because he's a bank auditor, so he understands numbers I'm don't lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I lay about three thousand numbers on him, and showing him how to think wonderful things. And he wasn't falling to sleep. <laughs> I also said that we had served a coin to get our ass off the phone. Yeah. Uh, because they found out, like the Mormons, I didn't mention the Mormons, they found out who it was. And then uh, and I got that lady over there in Canada. She's in, in Victoria, 120 miles away. She said, you got to spend a cent. Why? Apparently your mother. I don't know. Mother or father? Who's my wife? Yeah, but you are. Anyway, it was just an exchange of information. He listened yeah. to us, we really? listened to him because he was really very interesting. And a, a wealth of knowledge, also a lot of biblical background and history, you know, the tribes and all the rest of it. So it was a, a mutual meeting and, and didn't go in for the punchline, gave, gave him everything to be... But what pondering. showed up in his... What showed up in oh, his... Oh, Protocols of Zion was dropped in his letterbox by people who are pissed off. Now, apparently it wasn't the full thing, but it was enough to say this was what's been ruling the world. He doesn't have a computer, but he goes there every day. So I thought we'd take the hard copy, the PDF, Protocols yeah, of Zion, well, yeah. and give it to him to read, because he's a very humble, knowledgeable man. And um, Peter was amazed. He'll he came... be able to yes. decide Oh, yeah. And yeah, and his own knowledge. He knows of the corruption. He's seen it all. Mm. Uh, Melbourne man as well. And um, so Peter goes... He comes back a couple of hours, back to the club, and we're still there. So he doesn't make his presence known. He goes, oh, OK. And then he phoned us when we left and we're at the Chinese restaurants starving. But, uh, no, he, a, a lovely, lovely man, full of knowledge and obviously well-respected there in the club. But the miracle now. I found a joint in my pocket. <laughs> oh, yeah, on the way home he smoked it. And it was curled up like that. Yeah, it was like a... It was like a hook. Uh, yeah, like a calamari ring. Or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so then I got to light it, right? Now it's got to burn like this. <laughs> <laughs> so it must have been made by Adam. And oh, it was probably made. Yeah, it must have been because you haven't worn that shirt for a long, long time. time. Wow. A year almost. <laughs> I haven't checked your pocket and everything. <laughs> well, maybe it has. <laughs> what? Been through the wash. Been through the wash in that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice, right? Nice and clean. Yeah, so. so I decided on the way home we had a bit of a discussion. Oh. Of course, what do you tell it? Catch it well, finger outside the front of the camera. Um, okay, saints, what do we do with the Jews? The Zionists. Oh, you're here. Take Look. yourself in my position. Right? Forget it like this. You take over. Right? Judgment. All of a sudden, we've gone, we're out of here. We're, yeah. out of here. we're not coming back. What would you do if you two had to decide what to do with you? We know the Zionists. The, the cancer. Got the Every evil so got to be They don't think they're going back to the centre of the earth where they come from, right? That's well, right. we can send them there. That's they why they, they want to kill everybody for that reason. Mm. They think if they, if they can't have the earth, you're not out of there. Huh? Your Messiah not going to help you. Samson option. Mm. They have a, uh, one of their protocols of the Talmud. It says, this Jew debated God. Some gold. Well, well, wait, there's another. Hey, honey. There's also. God and one. 
All right, there's also the, where the Ancient of Days comes, the, prof, the prophecy of Daniel, the Ancient of Days who gives judgment over to the saints. Does it? Does it say that? Yes. Oh, I knew it. What would you do? Well, denounce your satanic cult and live like a man and woman. Are they capable? Well... This is it. Are well, they I capable? Mean, well, what are you doing with the rabbit dog? Hmm? Put it down. They've got to bend the knee. They have to recognise Yahweh, and if they don't, and they want to continue their evil ways, anyway, they have to know. How do you think the rest of the how, how do you think the rest of the saints have felt? Sherry, for example, she's been sickened. Mm. So you could do a vote for one hundred forty-four thousand of this. Oh, yeah, good, good deal. The first one hundred forty-four thousand publicly recognise me. You vote on what we're going to do with the church, and I'm out of here. Your decision carries. <laughs> and I get out. Well, it's not looking good for the Jews. No. Not at the moment, no. So, the upload we're going to do is going to be called Mind Come. My Struggle. That's my dilemma. Mm. How can I... Like Jesus, moron. Young and stupid. Forgive them, Father. I don't know what to do. So we have a cut-up point. How about three years and one day where they're allowed to have sexual intercourse with a child after that? Mm. Male or female, by the way. The wound would heal, I said. She'll forget. Mm. Right. How about we say, all right, anything over the age of three years and one month, we are kill them. Because you've got to have a child up until the age of seven to train them. Would that be a good idea? They set the rules, they set the numbers. Live by it or die by it. Next question. What about those twins are born? One is born and it's three years and one day old. The other one is three years and two days. You kill the second. And the cutoff is. And the, the cutoff is absolutely three years and one day. What a dilemma. You know what you end up? Oh, I'm going to tell you end up with. Never mind. You listen to the moron. <laughs> well, the old man is supposed to be making the judgment. Well, what's the fucking point if we can listen to the moron? Like, he's a defence attorney for the Jews. So it works out too. Who else is going to speak up for him? Only Jesus would. Dilemma. All right. I knew that. Yeah, I've been doing that in days, but I'm old and wise now. I've seen what they can do. I didn't realise what they're doing when I was 33 years old. What's the fact? I've no idea. Don't think anything could be that real. Mm. No, it's gotten worse from that. So how about you have a lie detector test and at the end of it the spinning blades. If they don't tell the truth, they're going through the blades. If they do tell the truth, they're going through the blades. So they won't get killed because they'll then have immortality. That'd be good one, mm. wouldn't get too many going down there, right? Yeah, that's... <laughs> you come up with all sorts of weird ideas, yeah. but you've got to do that if you're going to be a judge. And you've got 144,000 of these now to judge. I trust your integrity. <laughs> it's scary, isn't it? Kill him, she says. In the car. Kill him. Burn him up with little bits and pull your eyes out. I did not. <laughs> Some of the stuff you see going on, that's what you certainly think sometimes. So the ones that absolutely have no chance whatsoever, it's the guy. Yeah, justice. Huh? Justice. Justice. That's what it's all about. And it's the uh, reaping and the sowing. An idiot. I was trying to bet. Forgive some fun. Yeah, well, what does it talk about in Isaiah? It rules with equity and justice. Justice and truth. Wisdom. Well, what do you do with something that's insane? You don't kill it. You lock it out. Try and fix it. Maybe a full frontal or something. You know, if you terrorise something, that it's going to die, then only going to be too happy. But if you say, no, I'll forgive you. Oh, I can do this again, didn't I? But they'd be more inclined to say, all right, it's going to, this is him, he's going to burn us otherwise. <laughs> Excuse so me. So one way that we don't like the idea, 
but we will bend the knee. Then you put a tag on it, watch it. Mm. Mm. Then if they step out of line, that's it. So I might put my bloody tag in the hand or something. So I want to turn this down the earth and drill a hole and toss them in. You're going to toss them in? One at a time? <laughs> step out of line. That's the thing with an execution, you always get someone else to do it. Right? But if you're going to be the one that's going to do it, well, that's different. Are you going to take the sword and chop the heads off? This is what happens. Mm. People do that. These mad scientists, bastards, idiots. Because by starting a war, they're doing exactly the same thing. You're blowing people up. And, mm. you know. What's, what's can, the media going to do? Do what Jesus said. Love everybody, he says. Like, I think it might be a bit weak. <laughs> Take it to Jesus seriously. Can we not gather them all together? And make a juice soup. And <laughs> get everyone a straw. Now pull the lever. All in one place. So here one minute, gone the next. You're going to pull the lever? I could do that if I was blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> and had earmuffs on. <laughs> I couldn't do that. You know the old saying, I wouldn't send a boy to do a man's job. Yeah. Same in an army, you wouldn't send a private to do something you wouldn't do, like go play certain death, well, you've got to do it for them. Right? Give them the instruction, make it back, that's what you've got to do. So that's how you got to look at it. So I, if I can't pull a lip, I wouldn't expect someone else to. Hmm. You're not a judge unless you're the one that's going to wield the axe. I couldn't do it. So they can't crush an ant. It's different. When I was up at the uh, farm, bloody uh, Jerry was with me, and we, we were standing near um, some ant nests, and the ants got all over the nest. So I get in the car and had a motor, so you know, as we're driving along with the truck, they start fighting me. <coughs> so I'm like, So here's Jerry looking at me. Because they're fighting on the bloody beach and they came a month below my feet. I turned around and I drove back, went back to where I picked them up and then took them off and picked them back. <laughs> Put them back. Right? Jerry couldn't believe it. But what was he going to do with them? Where are these little ants? They're fighting because I'm taking them away from their home. There, yeah, I'll taste that. Yeah, stop. I don't think it's a big hamburger. <laughs> So I could not pull away from it. It's just not going to do it. I know what they're made of. I know what's in them. You know, it's like magic killer cat. Got less legs. Right? <laughs> Think about it. Got less legs than the ant. Okay, the ant might not be conscious. Put it get hers. You're going to get you. No, no, no. Hey, what's... So, what we're thinking about on the way back, is sort of something like that. Didn't get quite that far, but... Um, Mein Kampf was, when you read the first few lines of Mein Kampf, that's it, you'll cook your hook. Huh? And uh, even though he hates the Jews, there's nothing in there that says he's going to kill them. Mm, that's right. Hmm? He ends up asking all the companies who want some. Hmm? I think he is prepared to put them down at Palestine. Under the right circumstances. Hmm. So if these Jews are insane enough, they want to be in, under those strange conditions. For their insanity of their religion is convinced them that they are the chosen ones. Chosen for what? For a sacrifice of Satan? That's what they've set them up for. Hmm. Well, actually, they're Mongols, right? Yeah. We'll send them back to Mongolia. Let them run around the horse. But they are admirable people, the Mongolians. 
Marines. They were very tough. And uh, they actually were so powerful as soldiers. The most efficient army has been the British, if you go back in history slowly. The British in the way they fought with guns, rifles, cannons. And you go back before that, it might have been the Romans. Mm -hmm. So it might have been the Greeks before then, but possibly the Persians before then. Now the point being, the Mongolians, they rode right across Europe, right up to the gates of Rome. Right? And the Romans were the strongest army in the world at the time. They packed the ships, right? Because they couldn't come against these people. These little fellows would be riding along and had a bow, 165 pound pull. They wore silk. If they got an arrow, they'd pop it out. Because mm. barbs what does the damage coming out. Right? Yeah. And the Romans packed the sheds. And then they turned around like that. Like 4,000 miles. Just say, like, oh, that's what we can do here. Yeah. Leave us alone. And these become the Jews. Come on. So, so wait, wait, yeah. wait. So, so we're talking about. We're talking about the likes of, uh, well, Sharan's already dead. However, he was behind. Now, who was it that was behind um, Shatila and Sabir, the 30-year the, um, anniversary we just went through? Who was that? Oh, that's right. He was the um, military dude at the time, not the... Uh, Most evil bastards ever lived. And all of his cohorts. Yeah. And if Ned and I, you had been on the scene then, he and would have been with him. Mad as a header. Yeah. They are insane. Condoning. They're, they're insane. Or party. I don't condone them, I'm just saying they're insane. Don't want to make any more enemies in your world. How do you defuse the situation when there's got people that have been massacred relentlessly by these insane monsters? Less than human monsters. Humans. Human. Beasts. A low, so, low thing. Mm, they're human. They, they're humans. Have they reversed everything? Yeah, they're, that's right. They're, they're humans. They're the, they are the humans. No, they're the, the sons and daughters of God are the real men and the true women. That's obviously why they're called the real men and true women. That's right. <laughs> and it's lame. My mother's birthday tomorrow, so I've got to figure it out. Some mothers do have <laughs> You know, I like that line. Seventh heaven, the mother. She gives birth to seven children. And they're given a grief. <laughs> there was one line there. <laughs> I always remember. I brought you into the world. I can take you out of the world. Right. I agree. So you have seven kids. Another two and a half like you. Another three like you. That's that six and a half. <laughs> Alright. One of you goes mad. Plucks an axe and hacks your brother up. Little bits. What do you do with you? The one that's more mad. What do you do with her? It's your daughter. She got to go, hey, I want your son dead. No. But she is mad. Then you find out they put an implant in the front end. When she went in for some minor surgery. And it's been switched on to drive them in. Mm. Is that not what happens in a brain? Does some not, not demonic spirit turn this person's brain on to do evil? What if you can turn it on? Now, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Mm. Now, well, your brother's going to re, re, re come back in here. <laughs> you can't get rid of him in here. He's going to come back and kill you. you know? That's what happens. Vengeance, vengeance, vengeance. You know? So Jesus says, forgive them, for they know not what they do. They don't. So what do you do? One of your own kids does that. That's how your father did their mother. They said, pussycat. 
Deus. Uhum. Isso é mesmo, sim. It's a bag. It's in there. Dude. It's in here, look. Come here. Possibly the worst Chinese meal I've ever had. <laughs> no, the cake, I taste like crap. It's a mopped cake, whatever. Sayings of Jesus is dependent. Well, it is not. I don't really. 